Hey, it's Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and InkNouveau.com. Today I want to show you the Monteverde One Touch Engage Click Refillable Rollerball Pen with a Stylus Tip. There's a lot going on with this pen. It's pretty cool, so there's lots to show you. Let's go for it. This is the Monteverde One Touch Engage Refillable Rollerball Stylus Pen. Uh, this is the rose gold version. There is also a black version, but more on that in a second. Comes in this pretty sturdy little Monteverde box. It's definitely not one of the worst boxes I've seen from a pen company. It's got a warning in here. Important warning, your pen contains liquid ink which can stain if you fail to retract the point before placing your pen in a pocket. Not your pocket, just a pocket. Monteverde cannot be responsible for accidental damage to clothing. Basically, because it's a click pen, don't leave the tip out when you go to stick it in your pocket, otherwise it's going to leak all over your pocket. That's what that warning is saying. Inside the box, we have a box with, it's not full of cartridges, but it's got a couple. It's got a uh, little sampling, so it's got one of each, uh, black and blue, I'm assuming, by the end of the cup, the cap thing there. I dropped it on the floor, I'll pick that up in a second. It's also got this uh, ink cartridge and adapter. So it's got an extra cartridge in here, and the adapter part is this little plastic piece. It's basically just a filler, uh, because if you're using a cartridge inside the pen, the click won't engage, pun intended, unless it has that adapter on the back of it. So, uh, basically this pen is um, it's carbon fiber. It's true woven carbon fiber. Um, they do it themselves uh, with lacquer or some kind of glossy uh, coating on top of it. Um, this is the rose gold accent version, uh, which is identical to the black version um, in size and dimensions and weight and everything. It's just the the um, accent of the clip and the front section here that makes the difference between the two. Notable things about this pen, it is pretty long. I've got very, very large hands, um, but you can see it's a pretty good size pen. Uh, but the reason is because it has this entire unit inside. You unscrew the front section like this, and it reveals this little springy thing. You can pull the spring off, and it's got this whole guts section in here. Um, it's got a refillable rollerball tip, which these are replaceable, and they're available separately from the pen. So if for some reason you drop it or damage it or something like that, it doesn't work right anymore, you can replace just the tip and still keep using the pen. It uses a standard international converter that is threaded, so that's nice because it stays uh, locked into the, the tip there. Um, regular standard international converter, so um, you can you can use a non-threaded one. The threaded one will help keep it in locked a little bit better, though. Um, the way that this pen fills, it fills like a regular fountain pen. If you look up here, it's got this little hole right there. Do you see it there? Let me try and catch it in the light. There it is right there. It's right where the tip uh, kind of steps down right here. That's the filler hole. So when you're filling the pen, you need to make sure that basically, if you, as long as you immerse the entire black uh, tip section here, you're going to be okay in terms of filling it. And it's going to fill just like any other fountain pen, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, the only thing is when you're flushing this pen out, it does flush and clean like a normal fountain pen, but it may take a few extra turns of the converter to get that ball part flushed out because a lot of the water is going to want to come out of this um, filler hole when you're flushing it. So just, just be aware of that. Okay, so the converter here is if you want to use bottled ink and if you are using a cartridge, uh, which is a standard international short cartridge, uh, that would take place of the converter there, and you can see how the two look uh, just about identical there. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to reassemble this pen. I actually have um, the black one inked up here already, but I'll go ahead and show you how that all works. Um, got a bottle of Noodler's Black here. Um, so when you go to fill this thing, you're pulling the, the nib unit out here. Take the spring off. That'll make your life a little bit easier. Um, and you'll want to immerse at least the black section. You can go further. It's not going to hurt anything, but you at least need to go in there to get that filler hole all the way down in there. Okay, stick it down in. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to see me filling much because I need to get a new bottle, but you just untwist the converter, 
And there you go, ink is drawn up into the pen. Voila. Uh, and I need to get a paper towel. Hang on. Okay, okay. I always forget the paper towel. Okay, so brushing off the, the extra part here. And then one thing that I like to do before using this, um, this rollerball pen is I kind of like take the rollerball part and touch it to the paper towel. That just kind of draws the ink down through the rollerball it gets it primed, gets it working well, it's nice and saturated in there. That way you're kind of ready to rock and roll, okay? So go ahead and recap my ink before I spill it all over the place. Put the spring back on the front, drop the whole thing in there, it just screws right on, voila. Okay, now I'm ready to write. Okay. I got a Rhodia 80 gram dot pad here, and voila, beautiful. Now, there's only one size of rollerball tip. I don't know any refillable rollerball pen that actually offers a variation of tip sizes. Um, so I wanted to give you a comparison with some of the other two that I uh, have in my possession here. One of which is the Noodler's um, Nib Creeper refillable rollerball pen. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my cap, but I have the body section of the pen. You may recognize it. Um, this is Noodler's. One of the things that I hear about the Noodler's one is that it isn't quite as broad and wet as they would like. Um, now with Noodler's black here, it is pretty good. Um, and with lubricated inks, it works especially well. Um, it's kind of the same thing with Monteverde. In fact, Monteverde's inks um, have what they call ITF technology. It's basically a lubricant in their inks to kind of help move things along with their, um, with their refillable rollerball pens. But the, um, the Noodler's tip is definitely finer. If I had to classify, I would say the Noodler's tip is a fine tip, the Monteverde is a medium tip. That's just a very rough uh, estimation here. And then the other pen that I have is a Jair Bond rollerball pen. This one is cartridge only. However, I did find that you can fit a Monteverde short cartridge, uh, sorry, a short converter inside this pen. Um, so I put Noodler's Black in this pen as well, and this is the J. Urban. And the J. Urban is as fine, if not maybe a little finer, than the Noodler's one. So um, if you like a broader, wetter writing rollerball tip, the Engage is definitely going to be the way to go. Now, of course, the Engage costs you, you know, it's a $100 list price. Usually you can find it for around $80. Um, the Jair Bond is like 10 bucks or something, and the Noodlers is, you know, 14 So uh, the, the Engage is definitely the more expensive option of the three. However, it also looks way, way cooler. And it has one other feature on it that is pretty uh, unique, uh, patented actually, and that's the stylus tip. This pen's stylus tip is pretty darn cool. Uh, got my phone here. The way that this stylus tip, that's my daughter, the way this stylus tip works is pretty simple. Um, in order for most of these touch devices to work, it works through the conductivity of your fingers. Um, this uh, is some kind of conductive rubber. I don't know the technical term for it, but this ball here on the top is in fact conductive. So whereas most like pens or pencil erasers or something like that wouldn't uh, be able to use a stylus of any fashion, this one actually can. So uh, that is kind of cool and it, uh, it works pretty well, uh, I must say, um, if you're, you know, uh, into all the touch devices and so on, you definitely can get um, 
some some cool use out of this stylus thing. So this is um, a patented thing that Monteverde has. It is unique to uh, a couple of their pens. I know the Engage has it, and I think the Invincias have it. I'm not aware of any of the other pens that have it, but there may be some. But um, that is that is the um, the stylus part of it. So uh, I think I've covered just about everything with this pen. If you uh, you know are interested in this pen, it's definitely something unique. It definitely stands out. You know, it is a little on the large side, but uh, you know, uh, let me have a comparison here. I've got a Lamy All Star. If that helps to give you some basis of comparison, uh, I've also got a Twisby 540 handy. So, um, you know, it's not like out of this world large. It's just larger than your average like Pilot G2 or uh, something like, wait, I think I have one. <clears throat> there we go. So here's like a, a Pilot G2, a regular rollerball pen. So, you know, that gives you an idea. It's not, it's not monstrous. It does have good weight to it, but uh, that is the One Touch Engage. Hope you enjoyed my video here. If you have any questions about the Monteverde or anything else, feel free to email me at brian at Thanks so much for watching and right on.